The incoming air to the combustion turbine first goes through a weather hood to a filter housing. The weather hoods protect the filters from the effects of rain and sun and help minimize the amount of debris drawn into the filters. The air is drawn into and through the filter canister admitted to the compressor inlet. The filter banks are constructed with self-cleaning filter assemblies. From the filters, the air goes to an evaporative cooling media section. Results in a greater density of mass flow, thus maximizing the gas turbine's power output during hot days of operation. The inlet air flows through the two banks of filters and combines in the inlet manifold. From the inlet manifold, the air is drawn through silencers and then directed into the axial flow compressor inlet. The inlet casing is located at the forward end of the gas turbine. The blue painted section at the forward of the casing is called the bell mouth. The inner bell mouth is positioned to the outer bell mouth by eight airfoil shaped struts. The bell mouth function is to direct the air normally and uniformly to the inlet guide vanes for efficient airflow control and better inlet flow coefficient. The lower half of the bell mouth provides support for bearing number one. A stationary labyrinth seal is installed at the aft end of the inlet casing to prevent suction of contaminants into the compressor. Variable inlet guide vanes are located at the aft end of the inlet casing. The function of these guide vanes is to control the amount of airflow across the compressor. Each blade stem is inserted into a hole machined on the inlet casing. Each four of them are supported from below by one inner segment. A pinion gear is installed to each blade stem and is keyed into position. These pinions are rotated by a ring gear which is assembled to the control ring. The control ring is positioned by a hydraulic actuator to obtain the desired inlet guide vane's opening angle. The compressor is an 18-stage axial flow unit. Each set of rotating blades and stationary vanes make up a stage. The numbering is unique as the first stage is the zero stage, R0, R1, R2, up to row 17 are the rotating blade stages. S0 to S17 are the vane stages. Including the IGVs, all vanes direct air to the next stage of blades. Rotating blades force the air into progressively smaller spaces as the air passes through the compressor. Stages 9 and 13 of the compressor serve several unique purposes. During startup of the CT, these stages are bled off to the turbine exhaust via the compressor bleed valves for compressor surge protection. Compressor discharge plenum provides cooling for the first stage nozzle. Once the machine is synchronized, the compressor bleed valves, or CBVs, close and the air is redirected for cooling of the third and second stage nozzles of the turbine, respectively.